Hi everyone, my name is Vikash Raut. Welcome to my channel Digital Prime. Friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about how we are going to configure GST in SAP S4 HANA. I have already made a series of a video and this is my second series of tax configuration. So stay tuned with video and let's dive into the server. Okay. So I have used my login credential and here we are into SAP server. Let me open the document first. Okay. So we know that we have already done with the condition type creation. Now, in this video, we are going to create the accounting key for tax configuration. So let me log in into SAP. Okay. Now the login credential and password. There we are. So I have logged in into my SAP easy access screen. So let me show you the codes which we have to create. Okay. So it's a very simple concept uh, to create uh, accounting key. So we have already done with uh, the uh, condition type creation for input and as well as output. If you have not watched my first series of video, I would request you to please go and watch that video first and then you will be able to understand what exactly the next step is okay so let's start with uh, the creation of accounting key and in order to create accounting key all of these for input and uh, as well as all of these for output first of all uh, the transaction key which is a t code uh, obcn okay so let's go into the sap and type obcn in command box press enter there we are so Earlier, I have created some of the uh, keys. I would rather just check once. Yeah, here we are. So you can see that DSG, it is basically state text. So let's click, just select this and click on uh, details icon. Well, if you have clicked that, then you can see this. This is the uh, tax codes that we have already. Uh, sorry, this is uh, the codes that we have created an accounting key for GST configuration. So let's come back, click on, just unselect this, click on new entries. Okay. And uh, copy this first one. We are first, we are going to create for input tax and the same will repeat for output as well. Okay. And just close this okay so here we are in sap now paste it over here itself and what description that we have given we have given input central gst right so we have to create for input uh send in for input we have to create for central gst state gst integrated and zero as well so tax type now let's click on this uh empty box and click on this magnifying glass icon there you will find out here we have to select tax type so first we are going to create for input so let's select the second number and press enter now posting indicator right so posting indicator that what we have to do is just select here separate line items for each posting we need a separate line items basically for debit and credit we need the separate separate line items that's what the posting indicator should must be to as per over here itself separate line item you have to select from the drop down and rest let it be the same and click on save so an entry already exists with the same key so xic has been already created by someone so let's create xpc press enter okay now click on save there we go so xpc no one no one has uh, used this so i have created xpc so let's come back and make the changes over here itself like instead of i it should be p xpc okay 
and now again what uh, we have to do is like we should again go and copy this okay just select this accounting key which you have created and click on copy as okay and just change the key which you have already created in your excel sheet paste it over here itself and change your description as well just copy and change it enter okay so this is also this process is already been used by someone else so let's change x ps press enter and save it there you can see xps is now created now what we should do we should also make changes over here itself xp as it is see basically this input which we are using it out uh, right now the key you can make your own key as well there is no any specific restrictions to make uh, to use that particular key itself okay so there is no any restrictions so you can use any one as of your requirement now for integrated i'm going to use this one let me change the description as well likewise what you have to do is you have to create for uh, input and as well as for output as well okay so this is also has been created by someone else so xpi okay so this has been number of entries copied one click on save so now x now we have created this as well xpi it is okay let's make changes now xzi which is for zero tax if we have any entries which is consist of zero tax without tax we can use that as well so click on copy and uh, xzi paste it over here itself change the description and paste it over here enter now save it so we have created for zero as well so just select this click on details icon there you see here we are so we have created tax keys for input okay now we have to create uh, the accounting key basically for output as well now we have created already for input the accounting key has been created for the input taxes now we have to create for output taxes the same as well so nothing we have to do we we will doing the same thing just we have to copy this select this and copy as it is as we are doing earlier for input just copy this code and paste it over here itself and change the description but also we need to keep in mind we have to make some certain changes as well apart from these two so here we have done the changes now in in uh, tax type as we are using input tax now we have to make a changes and make output select output tax press enter and posting indicator remains the same separate line items press enter you can see that this tax uh, this code is xoc has been already been used by someone else so xpc xpc i believe we have already used uh, for input okay so let's reverse it pxc press enter enter okay now it's done save it pxc so we can make a changes and just make it pxc it is okay now okay so now we will do for state as we have done for the central select this click on copy copy 
copy the code and paste it over here itself. Copy your description and paste it. Enter. We can see that this has also been used by someone else. So, PXS, enter. Okay. I believe that's fine. No one has used this one. Click on save. So, PXS. PXS is the code. We must have to keep a record of all these codes because if we don't keep a record of this, this may create a problem for you moving forward if you are going to do any kind of other configurations. So this is very, very important for us to uh, make sure that we should know this all uh, codes remains with us. Okay. So next is for integrated. So let's make a changes for this as well. PXI, PXI will make it. And let's copy this PXI code and select this, click on copy as icon, paste it over here itself, copy your description and paste it over here itself. Press enter, the number of entries copied one, click on save, that's fine. Now we have created for integrated as well now again what you have to do is you have to create for zero as well copy this i i believe this code has not been used by someone else just select this uh, line item and click on copy as paste it over here itself the code and co copy your description and paste it out over here okay press enter yeah, this has been not used by someone else. So it's been saved. Click on save. So now what we did is we have created a accounting key for input tax and for output tax. Later, next step is to create GL for input tax and output tax. So we have to make we have to make sure that we should must create a GL, central GST, state GST, integrated GST and zero input tax. In the same way, it should be created for output tax as well. But this we will be discussing in next session. So thank you so much. As of now, we have created condition type and accounting key in the session so i have already created a video on condition type that how you have to create a condition type and in this session i have explained you how to create a counting key so if you have not watched my video first series which was on creation of condition type i would request you to please go and watch that video so that you will get a complete concept of uh, in tax configuration gst configuration in sap s4 hana so thank you so much friends for your time and keep supporting Digital Prime. Do subscribe and give uh, your thoughts and inputs in comment section. I would definitely like to entertain and I would like to answer all of your queries whatever you are posting there. Thank you so much for your time friends. Thanks a lot.